The Truth Behind N by Rainer Lewington. I'm not the kind of person to simply make claims out of nowhere, but I'm gonna make it now. I don't care if the other Pokemon fans of my club hate me for this, but I've got to say it. The character N from Pokemon Black and White is a part of a major Nintendo cover-up. Most people even reading these sentences probably think that I'm pouring down frantically onto this page mean absolutely nothing. But I promise you that what I have to tell you does have significance. N is not just a character that exists only within the lore of the game, but rather the lore of real life. I'm sure most people who are reading this probably don't understand what in the hell I am talking about. So please, allow me to explain. N is one of the main characters from the Pokemon games Black and White. He is meant to be the player's rival, but begins to travel down a path that is quite different from the storyline of any other rival we have seen in any other previous Pokemon games. As a child, N seemed to gravitate towards Pokemon as a means of escape from his regular life. In the game, we see N as a young child who is surrounded by Pokemon, who he refers to only as his friends, rather than partners. This type of bond may seem adorable to anyone looking out, but to those who look in, we see that the Pokemon are actually drawn to N's aura. His aura being more open and accepting after dealing with the mistreatment from his father. As a child, N was neglected by his father into not having any human friends and to only focus on becoming the perfect leader. As much as N does not want to be a leader like his father, it fills him with a sense of disdain to not be able to please his only family member, as is later revealed by creepy and mournful music that plays in the background. We later cut to more cutscenes within the game that reveal how N slowly gains the ability to telepathically communicate with the Pokemon. However, Due to a combination of communication between the Pokemon, as well as the rejection and neglect by his father, N has become rather psychopathic in his perception of humanity and despises all that dwell within it. Throughout the game, we begin to see the mental state and perception of N begin to slowly degrade as his resentment for humanity and desire for change causes him to rise the ranks of Team Plasma and is crowned as their king. Several battles and tons of character growth later, we see N again towards the end of our journey, trying to capture one of the two powerful Pokemon that form the Unova region that this game takes place in. He either faces off and aligns himself with either Reshiram or Zekrom. Once becoming their friend. He takes them alongside him and flies off towards the Elite Four, taunting the main character. But before leaving the main character behind and having hinted at before, N reveals to the main character that he decided to become the hero of the old Unova legend. A person to unite the region. We move forward to Victory Road march onwards towards the official Pokemon League and are met by three Team Plasma tricksters who were ordered to slow down your approach and buy N enough time to become the new Pokemon League champion. By the time you reach N, he has defeated all the Elite Four members and has moved on to battle the current champion. After you defeat all four members of the Elite Four, you move on to battle the champion but as you quickly realize, the League Champion's room is left in ruins. 
When you face off against N in a final battle, N believes that his new power and new position as League Champion appointed him as the new, rightful ruler of the region. After realizing that you will not back down from his reign, the two of you begin to battle one last time. After defeating through all six of his Pokémon, N admits defeat. He finally gains some sense of reality and says that possibly he may not be the hero that the region needed after all. He then admits you into the region's Hall of Fame, and the game partially ends there. What makes N a disturbing character is not only his disturbing antisocial behavior towards anyone with a normal mind, but also how ominous his backstory resembles that of well-known psychopaths. But here in lies the kicker. The character of N was actually based off of the long-forgotten daughter of the founder of Nintendo. The founder of Nintendo Entertainment, Fusajiro Yamauchi, wanted a son to be able to take control of his company when he retired from Nintendo at an old age. But he only ever had a daughter. Yamauchi's daughter, Tei, was neglected by her father as a result of him not being able to accept the reality that he would not be able to have a son as the new leader of his company. As much as she tried to impress and honor her father, the culture of that time would not allow him to elect his daughter as the new leader of the business. The position later went to her husband, Sekiryo Kanada. Tei was devastated by her father's neglect and never truly recovered from her inner turmoil and desire to please her defiant father. Tei never did achieve the position of leader of Nintendo, nor was she ever able to gain her father's approval. Yamauchi retired at the age of 70 and died at the age of 81. It has never been fully revealed, but some people believe that the game developers at Nintendo-owned brand Game Freak created the character of N as a character expression of the daughter of Nintendo's founder. No one has yet stepped forward to confirm this, nor have any of the developers ever answered this question in interviews, and so far, it only remains as a theory with some truth. But one thing that I can confirm is that Nintendo is hiding some dark secrets. Ones that they can only hope are never released. <laughs>